Hey, are you ready to make a killer first impression in your next job interview? We all know that first impressions are everything and it's no different when you're on the hunt for a new job. Imagine walking into your interviewer and making an awkward introduction or worse, shaking your interviewer's hands with sweaty palms. Ooh, but don't worry, I've got your back. In this video, you'll learn the art of introducing yourself like a pro and leaving a lasting impression that screams, hire me. And if you wanna be the one that stands out from the crowd and nails that job offer, watch until the end because I'm sharing lots of amazing examples that you can tailor to your own unique situation. Hey, I'm Heather, a career strategy expert, and over the years I've helped thousands of job seekers land interviews and job offers at top companies like Google, Amazon, Disney, Facebook, Meta, Harvard, and even Stanford. And if you wanna experience this same success as them, you're not gonna to wanna to miss a thing on this channel. So before we get started, tap the like button below and subscribe if you haven't already done so. And hey, use the link below to grab your very own copy of my interview guide. It's a step-by-step -step cheat sheet for helping you craft amazing responses for the most difficult interview questions. And when it comes to job interviews, your words and your body language set the tone for the entire interview. So you need to make sure you're starting off on the right foot. Now, before we dive into the nitty gritty of introductions, let's first talk about what you can do beforehand to set yourself up for success. First, make sure you arrive to your interview on time. Nothing screams unprofessional like being late to an interview. Plan for delays, map out your route, and do a dry run the day before if you're worried about getting lost. Now, if it's a video interview or a phone interview, make sure you test your equipment, your software, and your connection. This is not something you wanna worry about right before your interview starts. Now, I have the perfect video to help you prep for your video interview right here, and the perfect video to help you prep for your phone interview right here. I'll place both of the links to these videos down in the description below. Now, the second thing you wanna do is your research. Know the company's pain points and how you can offer solutions. Be sure to check out their website, their social media content, and the job listing to gain valuable insight into what they really need. And lastly, dress to impress. You never get a second chance to make a first impression. What you wear says a lot about you and whether or not you're taking the job seriously. For men, I recommend a dress shirt and a tie. If you have a blazer, you can wear that as well. For women, I recommend a blouse with either a pencil skirt or trousers, and you can even pair that with a dressy blazer to complete the look. Now let's jump into five easy steps to make an impactful interview introduction. The first step that I have for you is to make it concise and engaging. When it comes to introducing yourself in a job interview, it's important to keep it brief yet memorable. Your interviewer doesn't want to hear your entire life story, but they do want to get a sense of who you are and what you bring to the table. So don't ramble on about your qualifications and make the interviewer feel like they're stuck in a never-ending conversation. Instead, smile, shake their hand and let them know you're excited to be there. You can try something like, hi, I'm Johnny. I'm really excited to meet with you today. Or good morning. My name is John Smith and I'm thrilled to be here today for this opportunity to discuss the senior management role. By keeping it simple, professional, and not overthinking it, you can grab their attention and leave a lasting impression. Now, the second step that I have for you is to highlight your expertise. After your brief introduction, focus on how you're qualified for the position. Think about what would impress you if you you were the interviewer. Instead of reading straight from your resume, pick two to three of your main strengths and explain them in more detail. When possible, pick things that directly relate to the position to show why you're the perfect fit. Now, here's an example. I have 10 years of experience as a project manager working close with C-level staff to successfully execute large projects and drive significant growth in company revenue. I'm excited about the prospect of taking on more senior roles where I can leverage my experience to make an even greater impact on the organization. I'm confident that my skills and experience make me the perfect fit for this role and I'm eager to share my insights and ideas with you today. And hey, don't be afraid to add a little bit of personality. Maybe mention a hobby or two to make a personal connection. Like maybe you love mountain biking or maybe you make a killer lasagna. And make sure not to overdo it here either. Keep it simple by giving them just enough information to show them that you'd be a great addition to their team. Now hey, do me a favor. If you're finding value in the this video, be sure to tap that like button down below. This
this tells me that you're enjoying this content and that I should create more videos just like this for you. I'd really appreciate it. The third step that I have for you to make a memorable interview introduction is to remember that nonverbal communication is key. As the saying goes, actions speak louder than words. And when it comes to job interviews, your body language can make all the difference. Just imagine walking into an interview, slouching and fidgeting with your eyes darting around the room. It sends a message of nervousness and lack of confidence, even if you're well prepared and confident. But with the right body language, you can communicate your professionalism and confidence, leaving a lasting impression that'll make your interviewers take notice. So remember to sit up straight, maintain good posture, make eye contact, and keep those hands still. Think about it this way. You're at a job fair and you see two potential hires. One is standing tall, making eye contact and speaking with conviction, while the other is slouching, looking down and fidgeting. Who do you think would be the better candidate for the job? The answer is clear. So make sure you put your best foot forward and let your body language do the talking. Now the fourth step that I have for you to make a positive, lasting first impression in your next interview is to be prepared to tell your stories with confidence. I want you to imagine something else again, walking into an interview and being asked to tell a story that showcases your skills and abilities. Are you ready to shine and make a lasting impression? Here's a little secret. The questions you'll face in an interview are actually a good thing. They're a sign that the interviewer is interested in getting to know more about you and what you can bring to the table. So don't be intimidated by the thought of answering questions. Instead, embrace the opportunity to show off your skills and strengths. Now, one of the most common open-ended questions you may face is, tell me about yourself. Don't let this question throw you for a loop. Instead, prepare some bullet points beforehand to help you highlight what matters. This way you can remember your strengths and articulate them with confidence. Just remember, don't script out your answers verbatim as this will come across as insincere. Be yourself and let your unique experience and skills shine through. And here's the thing, the interview question, tell me about yourself, can often be a make or break moment, but I've got you covered. I developed an easy four step formula for answering this question with confidence. Check out this video right here and I'll also place a special link for you down below. And don't miss your chance to grab your free copy of my interview guide at the end of this video. Get ready to ace your interview and secure your next job offer. Now the next step that I have for you is to practice strong interview etiquette. In this final step of making a great impression in your job interview, preparation is key. Your attention to detail and professionalism will be noticed and greatly appreciated by your interviewer. By turning off your cell phone, actively engaging and showing polite respect for their time, you're demonstrating to them your commitment to the process and you're leaving a lasting impression. So don't forget to come prepared with thought provoking questions that highlight your interest in the role and in the company. And for a list of smart questions to ask in your next job interview, take a look at this video right here. And as promised, remember to grab your free interview guide to help you answer some of those tricky interview questions, including behavioral based questions. Use the link below to get started. And if you like this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button down below. Be sure to subscribe to this channel for more videos just like this, and I'll see you in the next one.